when I work. Hi guys, in this video, I will tell you how you guys can use when I work and everything that you guys need to know about when I work.com. This is the best software when it comes to tracking the time of your employees and also scheduling meetings and keeping your team messages all in one place. So let's take a look at their web page. So when you come on to when I work.com, this is the dashboard that you guys are going to see. So you guys can build the work schedule in minutes and share and track it instantly. Then over here, you guys can see what their application is going to look like when you start actually using it and of course you guys can manage your teams you guys can keep your teams accountable you guys can also keep all your communication in this particular application and you guys can also empower your team by giving them time flexibility and doing whatever else that you guys might want to so over here you guys can even see all the other features such as one click scheduling confidence shift coverage share schedules and also labor forecasting as well and then you even have some testimonials so now to get started simply click on pricing and then when you click on pricing over here you guys can see there are three main plans i'm going to get into the details of these plans a bit later but for now i'm gonna start the free trial of their most basic plan which is the essentials so i'm gonna click on start my free trial and now from over here you'll have to put in your full name email mobile number industry company name and then after that you guys can start scheduling for free so i'm gonna make this profile and i'll catch you guys in one second so as soon as you guys are logged in then you guys are gonna see this web page so now from over here you'll have to answer a few of their questions and then after that you guys will have your whole dashboard in front of you so now from over here i'm gonna start answering their questions so what do I want to schedule and what are my common services so I'm gonna choose manager and then after that over here I'm gonna see what other positions do I want to see being managed so I'm gonna choose general manager of operations manager assistant and also coordinator so after that I'm gonna click on next and then after that you guys can of course put in the name of all your employees over here along with their email addresses and then of course you guys can also put in positions over here so I'm gonna put in the name of my employee over here so I'm gonna put in the name of my employee over here and then after that i'm gonna put in their email address and then over here i'm gonna choose the position to be the general manager now in exactly this way you guys can add in more people more people in your workspace on um, different positions you guys can even add in your own specific positions so like you don't have to follow what they have given you you guys can add in your custom positions as well for example if you have someone who is managing your team managing for teams so like sometimes the positions are complicated you guys can add in the positions yourself after that click on next and then as soon as you click on next that's gonna take you over to another page so from over here it's going to ask you when does your work week start so we're going to choose monday and then you guys can also create shifts as well for example if i want my manager to come at 9 a.m well then i can just have him leave at around 5 p.m because that's a nine hour work day so as soon as i put in this i can just simply choose the position to be general manager and then now i can just simply click on next or i can have more positions over here so i'm going to basically put in another position which is going to be 10 a.m till 5 p.m and this is going to be the assistant so as soon as i've done that now i have uh, two positions along with their times so now i'm going to click on next and then as soon as i click on next that's going to take me over here so this is what their main dashboard looks like and this is where all the fun stuff is going to happen this is where you guys will be able to track everything and keep track of all the shifts that are open right now and everybody who is working right now so on the left side you guys can see your schedule you guys can add in a custom schedule over here and you guys can of course change up the schedule if you guys want to so to add a schedule you simply click on add schedule and then from over here you guys are gonna put in the name of this and then of course put in the max hours and the location and the coordinates and then this schedule is gonna get followed and then on the left side you guys can sort what you're seeing over here by open shifts or by the name of your employees so for example if you guys just want to see what one employee is doing you guys can just simply choose the name of that particular employee from over here and then you will be able to see what he or she is working on so again this is a, again a very good bit to keep close track of exactly what your employees are doing so i'm gonna choose ali clark and now i can only see him but right now i'm gonna choose all so this is the basic setup so now from over here you guys can simply click on any one of these boxes in the chart and you guys can add in specific stuff or add in suggestions as well so over here you guys can assign this to anyone i have just assigned it to ali clark and i can just simply change it as well if i want to so for example if i want him to work from 10 a.m. to like 10 p.m. on Wednesday, well then I, I can just simply click on create shift and I can just simply put in the position, I can put in the name, I can also put in the unpaid break and also tags, shift task and shift notes as well if there is something specific that I want him to do in that particular time. So that is how you guys can basically create shifts and you guys can, you know, set up a schedule over here. So I'm gonna set up a basic shift week right now to show you guys how it works. So we're gonna start over the first one. I'm gonna choose this to be a normal day. I'm gonna choose this to be a normal day as well 
the same goes for this particular person because he's the assistant so i'm gonna choose the assistant options over here now over here let's say if i want him to work from 10 a.m till 10 p.m i can just simply enter in the time to be 10 a.m to like 10 p.m so i'm gonna simply take a look over here so i'm gonna choose this so i've chosen 11 p.m but you guys can of course choose 10 p.m if you guys want to so as soon as that's done you guys can put in the break of 30 minutes or more depending on what you want to do and then choose the position so i think like is the manager so i'm gonna choose the manager I'm gonna put the tag to be overloaded and then after that i'm gonna choose a shift task if i have any shift task i can just simply click on the shift task i can click on continue i can type in get files from david i can click on continue i can simply type in first go to david and then submit report and get files so i can do that i can then click on add and then of course i can add in a task name as well if i have more tasks but for now this is it i'm gonna click on finish setup and now a shift task is gonna be created so i can just simply click on shift task list again and then of course i can even add in a shift notes as well if there are multiple things that i would like him to do i can just simply add in notes over here i can also have this particular shift repeat on this very day throughout the week as well if i want to of course but for now i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna click on save and publish and there we go we have a custom schedule now and similarly you guys can just simply assign him the rest of the week to be a normal week day you guys can even add in documents over here explaining exactly what you want him to do so simply click on this pencil icon on any one of these boxes and then that's going to allow you to basically add in shift tasks and also shift notes as well so that they know exactly what they'll have to get done so this is what their basic dashboard looks like now up top you have the option to do the attendance so when you click on the attendance over here you guys can simply set up pay periods so that you know exactly if your employees came in and if they put in the attendance or not so that whenever they take an off day you guys can just simply know and you guys can do whatever you want to depending upon what your company policy is so i'm going to choose the start date to be first of july so like the 31st so like we have one month pay period and then of course we can choose mobile device or personal computer to clock in i'm going to choose mobile device or personal computer both of them and then as soon as i click on continue now over here of course i can just simply choose the pay provider if i have a specific pay provider so all in all using this you guys can actually Actually set up your attendance as well and then of course you even have your work chat option as well so using the work chat option you guys can keep all your teams messaging in one place so meaning you won't have to go to whatsapp you won't have to go to slack you won't have to go to anywhere else to basically talk with the team and then come back over here and then over here you guys will be able to you know keep track of your tasks you guys can keep everything under one roof and have a very nice company culture so using this particular messaging feature you guys can do that so again a very a very handy tool and i would personally really like to use this if i ever can get the chance if i ever need to use this so on the left side you guys even have the job side option you guys can even add in tasks manually from over here and then simply choose them from these boxes you guys can add in more positions you guys can also use forecast tools as well these are just basically gonna let you know if your employees are gonna work the next week better or not depending upon data so for example if your employees clock in at the exact time that they're supposed to and they go out at the exact time well then for five days a week well then this particular tool is going to let you know that next week is going to be a good week because your employees are pumped up so all in all it's just a forecasting tool it, it's nothing too crazy it's very handy if you want to see the performance of your employees and all in all this is actually good as well well all in all if you guys want to know your data well this tool is going to let you do that so guys this was the basic overview of when i work i hope i made everything clear so now let's move on to the pricing of this particular tool so we have four plans the first plan is 2.5 dollars per month the second one is four dollars the third one is six dollars and the fourth one is eight dollars per month and this price is per user so for example if you have 10 users well then you'll have to pay 80 dollars for the complete plan and almost 20 dollars for the standard plan so it is per user per month so just keep that in mind whenever you are about to buy this particular tool and then over here at the bottom you guys can see all the features that you'll get with with each and every one of these plans and of course if you guys were to pay annually then you guys can get a five percent discount but i don't think it's worth it you guys can just simply go with the monthly plan and you guys can cancel at whichever month you want to so guys this was the review of when i work.com thank you so much for watching if this video helped you out make sure to like the video subscribe take care Till next time, goodbye. All apps and software features are available on insiderapps.com. You can compare prices, see honest reviews, and pick the best app that is right for you and your work needs. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and also turn on the bell notification so that you guys are updated whenever we upload a new video. See you in the next video.